Hi, I'm Anushka. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. I was going through my comment section on YouTube and I saw that some of you guys actually wanted me to share with you how I use e-neutron. So, um, here I am sharing with you guys how to use e-neutron. If you didn't know, you can use e-neutron to prepare for CROC, which is the only important exam which you have to give twice when you're studying as a medical student in Ukraine. CROC 1 when you're in third year and CROC 2 when you're in sixth year. I am in fifth year right now so I gave my croc one when I was in third year in June 2019 and I'm going to give croc in the like May of 2022. So right now I can only talk about my experience of croc one and how I used e-neutron to prepare for my exam. Along with e-neutron I had, like, was also using other resources like our university provides a website which you have login password and um, you can use that to study but if you're not studying my university you can use e-neutron wherever you live whether you live in India like whether you're in India right now or whether you're in Ukraine and it is like can use by anyone and you don't have to pay for anything. Croc is definitely not the most difficult exam you're going to give as a medical student but it can be a nightmare because it won't let you sleep and also when you're awake and even when you are with your friends all you will hear and talk about will be about Croc because everyone is so scared of it like because in case if you don't pass it you have to repeat the year and adding to the six years you're already spending in ukraine like the thought of repeating another year is just quite the scary one uh, i'll try to keep this video short and just focus on the most important things about e-neutron so let's just start with that also to all the students giving croc this year all the best and i hope you pass the exam with the best marks possible like when i give croc one i got like 71 or something not the best marks but yeah i will tell you that if you will aim higher then only you will be able to like get this much marks because i know when i was practicing for croc uh, i used to get some 80 percent and sometimes 90 percent i never got 100 percent and i never even aimed for 100 percent because that is just being thought of even having all the correct answer is just practically impossible and um, yeah let's, i will just say that when you're preparing for croc just aim for higher marks and when you're going to aim for higher marks then only you will be able to like pass the exam don't just don't just aim for yourself and no i just want passing marks no, just don't aim for that so let's just talk about e-neutron and if you want to know everything about croc i have discussed it in another video about my third year of medical school like my third year as a medical student in ukraine so you can check that video i will leave the link of that in the description box below or uh, maybe somewhere over here you will just see it so let's just start with that i'm going to start sharing my screen so we are going to go to the e-neutron you are interested in e-neutron.info so we'll click on this you will go to ukraine you will select for foreign students you are going to select croc one in english there is previous papers previous basis and premium papers premium papers seems to be the latest edition i didn't know about this so we're not going to talk about this we are going to talk about the previous papers and previous pieces so there is base about 2015 14 and 13 so i will suggest that go through the 2013 base at least once because uh, it has quite the different questions from 14 and 15 but in 2013 you won't find pharmacology so do like pharmacology from 14 and 15 because it's not there in 2013 but 2013 has like quite the different questions so do go through it at least like once or twice so as you can have an idea about the different kind of questions like when you've just started preparing for croc i would suggest that go to the basis first then you you can go to the previous question papers because in question paper you will get like all the subjects mixed up so it would be better if you are just trying to prepare for croc that you focus on your subjects first like which subject is your week one or etc etc so going through the basis will be so much more helpful than just directly going to the question papers uh, you can go to the, you can go directly to the question papers when you're sure that you know all the subjects very well and you can like get good enough marks so uh, what there are two catches on e neutron which i'm going to talk about first let's talk about the question papers so there is stomatology and pharmacology you're not interested in that you're interested in croc one medicine for mbba students so you will see that they have updated like croc 1 2020 october 30 october 29 february and uh, among these according to me i think the most important question papers to be done are 2013 one 2018 and 2019 and definitely the 2020 because it was the latest one 2013 because it is considered one of the most difficult examinations of croc 1 and um mm, before 2013 you will see that the questions were very easy used to be very easy like when you're going to do the questions from 2005 till 2000 
20, 20 then you will see the changes in the pattern the changes in the question etc etc so uh, 2013 is definitely to be done because the question paper changed quite dramatically all of a sudden and also in 2018 uh, also like before 2019 when i gave the question paper the question paper used to contain almost like 200 questions but for the first time in 2019 the question paper only contained 150 questions so uh, like also out of the 150 questions 30 questions were the long questions the answer was only on the last few lines there was a lot of unnecessary information so it's really very important that you practice that 2018 and 2019 because you will see the sudden change in the question papers yeah that is really very important uh, that is about the question papers you can do this when you are done with all the subjects and it will like really, really help you mm, now let's talk about the two catches there are two questions actually yeah there is one question which is present twice in e neutron and both of these times the answer is different there was this question and uh, there were two different answers present on e neutron and one was correct and one was incorrect so the more you will practice the more you discuss with your friends and your teachers you will realize which one is correct and which is not so it's really very important that you practice as much as possible and also when you're using e neutron on laptop it's really very like it's rare that you will like by mistake refresh the page but on phone it is quite possible that you will refresh the page when you're just scrolling up so by mistake you will refresh the page quite suddenly and um, you will lose all your data uh, also you can use after you've started practicing after you've started your question paper you can disconnect with your internet and you can use this website it will work absolutely fine no problems but the thing is uh, after maybe you've just selected some any random answer and um, you can just check your answers uh, but there's a catch that when you just uh, selected your answers um, and by mistake if you refresh the page then it will start again from one so all the questions you have done like they will be just gone and you will have to just start again so right now there are only 65 questions but there might be times when you're doing 150 questions or 200 questions and it's really very irritating when you're 190 questions and the page refreshed by mistake so yeah you're going to lose all your like data all your time and your, all your hard work so i would really suggest that when you are using e neutron on phone always take screenshots because obviously you want to revise your wrong questions and your doubtful ones so always take screenshots of all the questions you like feel are like going to be important to you and i will just quickly finish this paper to show you something else Ouch. <laughs> there's only one way you can uh, revise the questions which you have done on e neutron that is to finish the quiz as soon as possible and um, not refresh the page at all uh, it will work without internet just fine as i told you so when you're done when you're just about to reach the end of the question just be very careful not to refresh the page by mistake there is no way you will be able to get all your hard work back so when you are just done uh, finish your quiz and there is option of restart quiz and view questions if you will select view questions you will see all the questions you have done during this time before refreshing the page and sorry after refreshing the page if you haven't whatever it is like if you haven't refreshed the page at all then you will see all your questions but if you have refreshed the page then it will start again so if you will like without internet you can also restart the quiz and everything is just gone so i would really suggest that take screenshots because everything will be gone and there is no way you will be able to get it all back and when you want to start another paper you will need internet uh, so taking screenshots uh, focusing on the questions which might be wrong so doing bases before question paper is like few of the things that i would really suggest that i would really suggest for you to do and that is all about e neutron well that is all about e neutron that i know and share this video to all those people who need to know about e neutron 
and if there's something else about e-neutron that i don't know and you would love to tell me about it then please let me know in the comments section down below i would love to hear from you and thank you so much for watching this video if you're giving croc this year another year or whenever you're going to give the croc all the best to you and i hope this comes helpful to you and leave your feedback suggestions or whatever you want me to uh, talk about on my channel in the comment section below or you can contact me on instagram or in gmail and that is all for this video and i will see you in another one bye